and we are so excited to celebrate with you all tonight. To start off our evening, we would like to call upon our, regional, our Senior Regional Director, Rachel Ellis, for opening remarks. Hi, everyone. I'm going to keep this quick. I just want to say mazel tov, yashir koach, to our outgoing, amazing presidents, Seth and Jordan, and their regional boards. I can't believe how fast this year has gone and that we're at this point right now. It's been a really fun year. We've accomplished so much, and you should all be so proud of everything that you've accomplished and where we're at. And I, it's we're going to miss so many of you who are graduating. Um, and we're really excited about our new board and with Ben and Esty and all of you. So, um, so thank you to everyone and all the parents who are on here that supported our teams this year for an amazing, amazing year. Thank you, thank you. We will continue our evening with the State of the Region Address presented by your 95th Regional Olive Cadol, Seth Katzman, and your 95th Regional Nasia Jordan Lash. Is there a motion to dispense with all business and move directly into the State of the Region Address? Motion. motion. I recognize Isabel. Is there a second? Second. second. I recognize Melanie. Is there a call? Ring. Any dissent, dissent, dissent? Seeing and hearing none, we will now move into the State of the Region Whoa. Address. What? Hello, everyone. Seth and yeah. I are so excited to be here with you all tonight. We never pictured that we would be delivering this speech to you through our screens, but we want to thank you all for your support through this virtual transition. We are so proud of the creative and innovative ways we have programmed since we went virtual. We have had an incredible year and we are, are so excited to present the highlights. We started off the year by training the regional board, chapter presidents and coordinators at August Mix. This was a time filled with learning, goal setting and planning, and also a fantastic bonding opportunity. From video game contests to trips to 7-Eleven, it's safe to say we kicked the year off the right foot. Next, our big kickoff of the year was BBYO Under the Stars. With tons of members from every chapter, we started the programming year off strong, featuring mini golf, food, sports, music, and an outdoor movie. Energy was high and we were ready to start programming. The fun continued with an AZAA flag football competition. This league was open to all olives and games took place every Sunday from September to November. We were so proud to see that every AZA chapter was represented and equally and had a great time. This year, we were also so excited to implement our new Mon Body Attitude program in the region. Beginning in September, we held a Bring Your Own Dog stress relief event, later followed by programs such as boxing at Franklin Athletic Club, a self-defense class in Soul Cafe, and a Mind Body Attitude quiet room at regional convention, except accessible to all participants. Thanks to our regional social worker, Barry Siegel, and our Mind Body Attitude coordinator, Rachel Rothenberg, this program provided a safe place for our teens to improve their mental health and well being. In October, we recruited over 50 eighth grade prospects to our chapter showcase event. With regional board and parent chaperones, prospects were able to attend three different chapter programs to get a sense of the chapters they enjoy the most. Feedback was outstanding, and this event was a significant contributor to our triumphant eighth grade recruitment that would soon come in November, with over 60 new Olives and BBGs joining our region in the span of a single day. For the first time ever, we had regional Shabbaton at the JCC in Ann Arbor. Held in the end of October, this convention was the most memorable of the year. Personally, my favorite part of the weekend was celebrating Shabbat at the University of Michigan's Hillel, where we received a performance from the university's Jewish a cappella group. Other highlights of the weekend in included learning about our regional stand-up cause, the Flint Water Crisis, canvas painting inspired by Abraham Lowenthal, a dance party and talent show, and of course, sightseeing in Ann Arbor. So many of our region's top leaders gathered at this convention to grow their Jewish identity and explore new ways to make a positive impact in the world and our community. On November 10th, we gave back to our community and participated in Fall fix -Up as our annual JSERV event. This event is always rewarding and teaches us the importance of helping others. Then, as December rolled around, it was time for RC 2019. This year's theme was Biyahad and Naknu, Together We Are. 
We reinvigorated opening ceremonies, beginning with a meaningful Havdalah, celebrating BBG's 75th anniversary, where we celebrated our generations of BBG. This led into an exciting opening ceremony. RC also included many new events, Hanukkah celebrations, and surprise pop-ups throughout the week, making this RC the most memorable convention yet. Many especially loved the lip-sync performance by a local drag queen. Furthermore, we integrated our MBA program into RC by having designated stations to comfort our mental and physical health through a variety of therapeutic means. Thank you to everyone who made it possible and to everyone who was a part of it. Congratulations again to Al Jolson AZA and Aaliyah BBG on being Michigan Region's most distinguished chapters for the 2019-2020 programming year. Also in December was Global Shabbat, an international initiative that allowed every teen in BBYO to celebrate Shabbat on the same night together. I don't know. What Showing the strength of our movement, like we have done in the past, we hosted Global Shabbat on the chapter level this year. As this reflect, as yeah, we reflect and I just on get this, right in and do it. We, we realize have celebrating this event as a region may be more in meaningful so we can build our regional unity through our connections to Judaism. We yeah. hope that next year's leaders consider this while planning Global Shabbat and strategize how we can enhance this experience as a whole so we can continue to grow together. On January 1st, eighth graders were officially allowed to join BBYO. Our membership increased rapidly when we offered personal and chapter incentives. These new members were then able to go explore the chapters and join one they felt was the best for them. In order to keep our regional board motivated and ready for the second half of the school year, we held an overnight regional board retreat at Bitcur in January. The retreat was filled with goal setting, thoughtful programs, lots of bonding, and of course, our favorite snack, mac and cheese. We truly came out as a stronger board and each member was more motivated to finish the year strong. This February, Michigan Region brought one of our largest delegations to Dallas, Texas for International Convention 2020. From incredible panels of speakers to reuniting with distant friends to engaging in impactful lead stage sessions an insane lineup of concert performers, IC was full of memories only PBYO could provide. This year, we wanted to focus on and empower the chapters by giving every chapter's grants to help enhance their kickoffs and assist in keeping them motivated to have consistently strong programming. This grant allowed chapters to get creative with programs and it also enabled them to have programs that were held back less by monetary constraints. As we entered March, our year took an unexpected turn. However, we made it work. For the first time ever, our region was functioning completely virtually. We united through Zoom and brought in amazing ce celebrities, celebrated Havdalah, held mental health programs, competed in video game challenges and bake-offs, elected our next regional board, and overall found a way to socialize while still social distancing. It has been incredible, incredibly important to us that we use this time to celebrate the seniors who are leaving BBYO train the incoming leaders, and reach out to those who may need a little extra support with this change. We have not let this change stop us from recruiting new members. We're eager to build our BBYO family and by offering incentives. We plan to meet with our, re our regional uh, membership goal by the end of the year, and we're so close and determined to meet it. We could not have been so successful this year without the people who worked around the clock to keep this region going. To our amazing staff, Thank you for all of your hard work and dedication you put into this organization. No matter how busy you are or how tired you feel, you make sure all of us have what we need. We are more than grateful for that. There is no other BBYO staff team better than all of you. We'd also like to thank the Adult Commission Board and all of our wonderful advisors. These unpaid volunteers work behind the scenes to make the region and our chapters run as smoothly as possible. And we couldn't be more grateful. Ben, as well, thank you to the donors who provide our funding and to allow us to program to new heights every year. BBYO wouldn't be possible without you. Thank you to all of the amazing BBYO parents for being the first to volunteer whenever there is a chance to and for giving their teens an amazing BBYO experience. And thank you to our own parents and families for all of your support and guidance throughout the year. Thank you to the regional board for putting so much time into your positions. You are all so hardworking and this year wouldn't have been as amazing as it was without you. 
Thank you to the chapter presidents and coordinators. Without you all, BBYO and the impact that it has could not come, could not come together in the way that it does. And of course, it has been an honor being your regional presidents this past year. Thank you for this wonderful opportunity. Have a great night. All right, is there a motion to accept the state of the region as presented by your 95th Regional Elf Godol and your 75th Regional Messiah? Motion. Motion by Jason Brown. Is there a second? Oh, let me say something first. <laughs> all right. Thank you for all your hard work and dedication that you have put forth to BBYO and Michigan region. This year could not have been successful without you. All right, is there a second? Second. All right, second by Isabel and the 75th BBG Regional Board. 75, thank you for being the best and most supportive board. Your hard work for BBYO and Michigan Region shows, and this would have not been as nearly as successful without you all. Is there a call? Ring. I recognize Isabel. Is there a second? Second. <laughs> Recognize Isabel. Is there a dissent? Any dissent? Dissent, dissent, dissent. Seeing and hearing none. We will now move into speeches from our own parents. Okay, now we would like to call upon Stacy and Joe Lash, followed by Steve and Bridget Katzman, to share thoughts about our outgoing presidents. Should we go? Yep. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm Seth's father, Stephen Katzman. This is my wife, Bridget, and uh, we're so proud of our son Seth and his achievements over these past four years. Uh, BBYO has been part of my life since I was 15, and I'm still friends with many of those people I've met during those years. We remember when Seth attended his first AZA meeting. When he returned home that evening, he was so excited and would not stop talking about his chapter and what he thought AZA would mean for him. Before we knew it, he became vice president of his chapter. Then during his junior year, he became chapter president. This past year, he ran for and became the regional president. Seth works for hours and hours at a time and was often up to three in the morning working on his meeting agendas, overseeing elections and fundraising projects. He's also very active in member recruitment in both AZA and for his chapter. During his term as regional president, he also made sure he maintained close relationships with chapter presidents and gave them advice on how to improve their chapters. Seth has attended three summer programs including a trip to Israel and he attended practically every convention that was offered. We could not even talk him out of missing one day of a convention to join us on a family vacation. He was that dedicated. We know the BBYO experience has helped him form a stronger bond with Judaism and also provided him with the interpersonal leadership skills that will be extremely beneficial for his future success. success is going to, Seth is going to attend University of Michigan this fall, and we're going to miss all the AZ meetings and sleepovers that we have hosted throughout these past four years. Seth, we love you and couldn't be more proud of you. And we thank BBYO for helping you become the confident and mature young man that you are today. I hope everyone has a great evening and that you and your family stay safe during these challenging times. Thank you. <laughs> and whoever's next. <laughs> no, it's Jeff. You're good enough. Okay. Yep. Okay. Jordan, as to your parents, we've seen how much BBYO has helped to shape you into the amazing person you are today. You have been given opportunities for friendship, philanthropy, world travel, Jewish identity, public speaking, and leadership. We are forever grateful. Philanthropy is an important part of your life, and through BBYO, you were provided the chance to give back to your community. You participated in, event, in events such as JSERV, you brought gifts to children in the hospital, and even helped to clean up a Jewish cemetery in Bulgaria. Your leadership training came through summer programs and travels abroad where you met some of your closest friends from all over the nation. Jordan, you were passionate about BBYO from the beginning and you wanted to be involved. As a freshman, the first position you held was Aliyah Sliha, you, where you planned celebrations of the Jewish holidays throughout the year. As a sophomore, you were elected as Aliyah Siganit and in charge of chapter programming. 
As a junior, in addition to your schoolwork, you also took on the role of, C of regional CECANY and also applied for an admin position during IC at the same time you're preparing for BBY by BBYO's international election. The process was rigorous. You lost lots of sleep, but you remained passionate and you worked towards your goals. Because of your hard work, you're appointed the admin position for Leagues Day. It was a huge accomplishment. In this role, you did not just plan a day of programming for hundreds of teenagers, but rather thousands. Furthermore, you stood in front of an auditorium filled with those thousands of teenagers and you spoke loud and clear and you never even appeared nervous. Most recently, you were asked to interview ESPN's Adam Scheffner. Again, you did this with self-confidence and poise and the interview was seen by over 30,000 people. Public speaking appears to come natural to you. And if not for BBYO, you would have never had these unique opportunities. Currently, you hold the position of regional NACIA. You represent all that BBYO stands for and you lead by example. You are hardworking, motivated, kind, inclusive, and devoted. As a leader, you never allow for hard work to go unrecognized. You have had the opportunity to motivate and mentor others. You have had to identify problem areas. You have needed to strategize and innovate due to unforeseen events. Possibly the most important lesson that you may have learned through these years is how to deal with disappointment. Not every election resulted in a win and some losses were harder than others. However, despite your heavy heart, you were able to move forward and lead your region with confidence and optimism. Disappointment in life is unavoidable and it makes us stronger. We must remember that we are resilient and we can adapt. Indeed, this rings true today during these unprecedented times. Jordan, although you and your friends did not foresee ending your senior year in a pandemic, our hope is that you, will, that you are able to find the silver lining in these unfortunate circumstances and our wish for you is that you continue to grow, remain strong, optimistic, confident, and be there for each other. Jordan, we believe that your experience through BBYO will prepare you for many of life's obstacles, and this amazing organization has provided you the initial platform to make a difference. We do not know, we do know that your story does not end here, and we cannot wait to see what comes next. We are so proud of you and your accomplishments. We love you so much. Thank you. Thank you and congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Lash and Dr. and Mrs. Katzman. And thank you to Jordan and Seth on an incredible term. It's been, a, it's been wonderful working with all of you. And on behalf of the entire order, we thank you for your impact, dedication, and passion to our region and order as a whole. We will now move into our awards ceremony where we will recognize teens who were nominated and chosen by their peers for exceptional contributions to their chapter and the region. Our first award is the Rookie of the Year. This award recognizes an underclassman who stood out during their first year of BBYO and is already looked at as an up and coming leader. To present the award for the AZA Rookie of the Year, we'd like to call on Mitch Flackman. This Olive always knows how to have fun, he knows how to get the job done. On RC steering, he came to every meeting prepared and ready to share his ideas. He is what you want in an AZA member. He always has a positive attitude no matter what the situation is. He made a huge impact in BBYO and I can't wait to hear about all his future accomplishments. It is my pleasure to present the award for AZA Rookie of the Year to Ian Kraft of L. Jolson AZA number 317. <laughs> Good job! Yay! Oh wait, my mic's on, hold up. Thank you, Mitch, I really appreciate it. And thank you all for this amazing award. Thank you. Okay, um, to present the award for BBG Rookie of the Year, please welcome Alexis, Alexis. Wilson. This BBG re receiving this award has shown her excitement for BBYO since the day she joined. Her dedication and passion for BBG illuminates and anyone around her can see that. Her spark for this organization is simply contagious. As a sunshine girl in Ahava, she is committed to growing the sisterhood of our chapter. 
She has an infinite amount of potential in this organization, and I can't wait she, to see what she does in her next three years. I am so beyond proud of how far she has come, and I am positive that her future will be bright. I am excited and honored to award Amanda Silverstone with the Rookie of the Year Award. Okay. Um, next, we'll be presenting the awards for Godol and Nasia of the Year. This award recognizes an outstanding chapter president who led their chapter efficiently and successfully while modeling BBYO values. To present the award for Godol of the Year, we'd like to call upon Tommy Sherman. This year's winner of Godol of the Year has exceeded all the expectations of his office. Faced with the daunting task of restoring a struggling chapter, this person took the challenge head on. Helping lead his board in planning events, recruitment, and communication through his frequent office hour sessions, he managed to rebuild his chapter all while balancing BBYO, a hard school curriculum, and his passion for cross country. I could not be more proud to present the award for Godol of the Year to Olive Dylan Sheffman of SVA AZA number 309. Okay, um, presenting the award for Nasia of the um, year, I call upon Amanda Collin, is, or Nicole Binbad, whoever's reading it. Okay, since Amanda can't join the call, I'll be reading on behalf of her. Um, Izzy Fox is the most passionate, hardworking, and dedicated person I know. The moment she was elected as Emunaz Nasia, our chapter changed better. Her warm and positive energy created an environment in which the strongest sisterhoods could form, and her efficient work ethic made for a collaborative board and amazing program. She would never complain and always looked at the positive side of her challenge. Everyone at Emuna, as well as the surrounding BBL community, looks up to her strong leadership skills because she is such an incredible role model. I am so proud to announce Izzy Fox as Nasia of the Year. Okay. The Award for Outstanding Achievement in Programming recognizes teens who have made a significant contribution to their chapter or the region by planning exceptional top-level programs. To present the ACA Award for Outstanding Achievement in Programming, I'd like to call on Cameron Raiden. Hi, everybody. The Outstanding Achievement in Programming Award uh, is presented to an olive who has planned exceptional chapter programming that is creative, unique, and enjoyable to its participants. The all receiving this award has truly gone above and beyond. Not only did he come up with brand new and unique events that left members wanting more, but he also helped the chapter begin to have real structured programs instead of our standard functions. Um, uh, from Shabbat on the Lake to a day on the fields of Drake Park. Not only did he do these events, but he also stepped up when he was needed and took on extra workload on top of his programming duties. The all of, this all is an amazing leader and an even better friend. It is my pleasure to prevent the, present the award for AZA Outstanding Achievement in Programming to Benji Stern of Greenberg AZA number 151. To present the BBG Award for Outstanding Achievement in Programming, please welcome Isabel Bohr. Again? Okay. Ever since I've gotten to work with this girl, she has been a ray of sunshine. Her ideas have been exciting and groundbreaking, and her execution has been even better. I am so proud of her and her work as Chapter Signee and all she's accomplished. And I can't wait to see what else she achieves as SC Corps. And I'm so proud to be presenting the Michigan Region Outstanding Programming Award to Kira Sorokin from Aaliyah BBG. No, so me, okay. The award for Outstanding Achievement in Recruitment recognizes teens who have successfully recruited new members throughout the year through creative tactics and hard work. To present the AZA Award for Outstanding Achievement and Recruitment, please welcome Aaron Sugarman. Recruiting is a very difficult thing to do for many teens in BYO. The awkwardness of reaching out to a prospect that they have never talked to before takes a high degree of maturity. This year, many Maureen and chapter members from across Michigan region have excelled in recruitment. The winner of this award has made incredible strides for their chapter in the past year. They have worked with their counterparts to increase retention 
with their upperclassmen and create a powerful underclass with their recruitment skills. It is my pleasure to present the award for AZA Outstanding Achievement in Recruitment to Ryan Naksher and Aiden Nisker of Al Jolson AZA number 317. Now I'd like to wish a happy birthday to Aiden Nisker. To present the BBG Award for Outstanding Achievement Recruitment, please welcome Sammy Green. This year, this girl didn't only help to plan outstanding prospect events, but she also recruited 14 members. This, this girl receiving this award, she is doing it for her extraordinary personality, her inclusiveness, and her drive and passion to grow, educate, and retain members. Our chapter has not seen growth like this in years. I'm so pleased to announce that this year's outstanding BBG Achievement Recruitment Award goes to Nicole Bimbad from my heart and home of Emuna BBG. The Award for Outstanding Achievement in Leadership recognizes teams who have exhibited exceptional leadership on both the chapter and regional level and are admired and appreciated by their peers. Teams can be recognized for general leadership as well as contributions related to board positions, recruitment, programming, and other areas. To present the AZA Award for Outstanding Achievement in Leadership, we'd like to call up Tyler Bracey. Hi, everyone. Uh... I've been a part of BBYO for the last four years, and over time, I've learned the importance and how important it is to be a good leader. Uh, throughout this year, the person took me on, took on the challenge of leading their chapter and did it as well as anyone could have. They were very determined to keep their chapter on the right track, and they always dedicated lots of their time to come up with ways to continue to improve at their position, which was especially apparent at regional, regional convention this year. Throughout the five days of RC and the months spent before preparing for it, this person put in tremendous amount of, amounts of work to make sure that his chapter succeeded. He helped with everything that he could and led his chapter through practices and competed in events. During this year, I don't think his chapter could have asked for a better leader, and I don't think I could have asked for a better president. Because of this, it's my pleasure to present the award for AZA Outstanding Achievement in Leadership to Aaron Sugarman of Al Jolson AZA number 317. To present the BBG Award for Outstanding Leadership, Achievement in Leadership, we'd like to call upon Lindsay Randall. I am so excited to present this award to not only a good friend, but outstanding leader in Aaliyah BBG and Michigan region. This individual shows up to every program with a positive attitude and ready to take on responsibility. Her enthusiasm and leadership abilities never go unnoticed. She serves as a role, role model to our younger members and those around her. This year, as Chapter Sunshine Girl, she did everything in her ability to keep everyone happy and engaged in the chapter. I cannot think of anyone else who deserves this award more than Lindsay Burke. I am beyond amazed by everything you have accomplished in BBYO so far, and I cannot wait to see what you do next. Our last teen award of the evening is the Lasting Legacy Award, presented to a senior who has accomplished great things in BBYO and has left a lasting, positive, and inspiring impression on all those around them. I will now present the AZA Lasting Legacy Award, and to help me, I'd like to call on Benji Stern. Greenberg AZA and Michigan Region would not be where they are today without the leadership and commitment of this olive. Greenberg was struggling with membership, dedication to the chapter, and traditions had been lost over the years. What he did during his year's chapter cajole put Greenberg on the path to success, and his impact will be felt for years to come. He recruited so many members that the chapter size nearly doubled. He inspired all of its members to engage in the chapter, and he brought back old memories and traditions and created new ones. Greenberg is better off for it. During his year as regional Godole, he followed through on all of the promises he made to the region to rejuvenate our order. Through all of his summer programs, he developed relationships with other leaders who would go home to their regions and carry out the ideas that he had inspired within them. Not only did this olive leave a legacy upon Greenberg AZA number 151, Michigan region number 1701, but also the entire order of the Olive Sadiq Olive. It's our pleasure to present the AZA Lasting Legacy Award to Seth Katzman of Hank Greenberg, AZA number 151. Go Barras. Uh, thank you, uh, honored to receive this. Uh, real quick, I would just like to dedicate this to someone who made this all possible and the effects of this guy's impact trickle down generations in BBYO time, where I would not be here today nor the current regional board because of him, Paul Siegel Nadiv. Um, where are we? Okay, to present the BBG Lasting Legacy Award, I'd like to call upon Rachel Liebeck. 
The BBG receiving this award has put all of her time, passion, and dedication into this organization since joining in eighth grade. After reconnecting with this girl, she became my best friend and I've been able to see her confidence grow immensely in these last four and a half years. She has worked tirelessly helping the chapter and region thrive by constantly supporting everyone, problem solving, and guiding younger members. She pushes teens to work their hardest and inspires future leaders every day. After being elected into regional board this past year, this girl has revamped the Michigan Region Instagram and was able to re-engage the page with our teens along with boosting summer program attendance even through the pandemic. The positivity and love she spreads for BBYO has helped so many teens gain the spark for this organization that she has carried with her since day one. Despite her time coming to an end, I have no doubt her leadership, friendship, and love for BBYO will forever be remembered and inspire future leaders in Michigan Region for many years to come. Without this girl, Ahava BBG number 293 and Michigan Region number 1701 would have never been the same. That is why it is my pleasure and honor to present the BBG Lasting Legacy Award to none other than Becca Beanstalk. Um, congratulations to all our award winners. We have one more. Um, without our volunteer advisors, BBYO chapter simply could not function. While we are so grateful for all our fantastic advisors, we are excited to take this opportunity to recognize an ACA and BBG advisor who really stood out this year and made an impact. I'd like to call upon Associate Regional Director Shane Sperling to present the ACA Advisor of the Year. An advisor is someone who dedicates their free time to guide and mold the young minds of our region. This advisor has exemplified this and some. As one of our Godols said, this advisor is on top of everything. He kept me focused and driven and I can consult him with any issue I had at all. He changed his schedule to be with us and he, you could tell that he was devoted to the chapter. This advisor is devoted and dedicated to the chapter so much so that he's actually a founding father. It is my pleasure to announce John Wright, advisor of Sava AZA number 309 as the AZA advisor of the year. To present the award for the BBG Advisor of the Year, I'd like to call upon Associate Regional Director, Claudia Helpen. Um, I'm doing the share screening, so I'm gonna wait to share it because they're both their pictures are on the same slide. So, this BBG Advisor goes above and beyond for her chapter. She is always there to support them however she can. She guides them in the right direction and in the right direction to become an incredible leader. She's always there to help out with her chapter in the region and we love having her around. I am lucky to have her as an advisor and work with her so closely. Thank you for all that you do. This year's 2020 BBG Advisor of the Year is Michelle Bettman from Rock BBG. Congratulations to all of the award winners. There were so many wonderful nominees this year and we are so lucky to have so many great leaders and role models in Michigan region. Okay, we will now move into our installation ceremonies where we will remove the 95th and 75th regional board from their positions and officially install the 96th and 76th regional board. To lead this ceremony, we are excited to welcome our 94th, wait, 94th and 74th regional president, Sammy Trepic and Avery Geller, as well as our current presidents, Jordan Lash and Seth Katzman. All right, Seth, um, I will begin with the BBG board. So um, beginning with Isabel Bohr, um, by the power vested in me by BBYO, I hereby just discharge you, Isabel Beatrice Bohr, as regional Siganite, in your duties as regional Siganite. Woo! Yay. <laughs> Um, by the power vested in me by BBYO, I hereby discharge you, Darby Morgan Broad Krugel, as, of your duties as Aimha Have Rote. Yay. <laughs> by the power vested in me by BBYO, I hereby discharge you, Yakira Ruby Daviva Mitchell, as, of your duties as Regional Shlicha. By the power vested in me in BBYO, I here discharge you, SD Grace Moss, as Regional Gisbury, of your duties as Regional Gisbury. By the power vested in me by BBYO, I hereby discharge you, 
Becky, Becca Lynn Beanstalk at, of your duties as regional Maz Cura. By the power vested in me by BBYO, I hereby discharge you, Rachel R Beth Rothenberg, of your duties as MBA chair. Okay, so. Um, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. You stall uh, my board real quick. All right. <clears throat> By uh, the power of me by BBYO, I hereby dis discharge you, Olive, uh, Avery Morgan Geller, as our 95th uh, regional Kohen Gadol. Um, by the power of me by BBYO, I hereby discharge you, Olive Ben Cohen, as our 95th regional Mazkir. By the power of me by BBYO, I hereby hey, discharge you, Olive Maxwell. Uh, Blake Morganroth as our 95th Regional Giesbor. By the power invested in me by BBYO, I hereby discharge you, Olive Hiff Joshua Ryan Schreiber as our region's 95th Regional Olive Shalia. By the power invested in me by BBYO, I uh, hereby discharge you, uh, Nate Rothbard Barron as our 95th Regional Mori. By the power invested in me by BBYO, I uh, hereby discharge you, Olive Jason Reese Brown as our 95th Regional Sagan. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to discharge Sammy Rachel Trefic as Madraha. So by the power vested in me by BBYO, I hereby discharge you, Sammy Rachel Trefic, as of your duties as Mad Madraha. So now we invite, um, or actually Seth, you can go discharge Avery. Oh, I uh, so it's supposed to go uh, from back to board to front, so I did Avery first. Great. Okay. So now we invite Esty and Ben um, to install your boards. So please um, discharge me and Seth first, Esty and Ben, and then you may install your boards. Okay. Um... By the power vested in me by BYO Inc., I hereby discharge you, Seth Aaron Katzman, of your duties as regional Kohen Gadol. Uh. All right. Do you want me to go or do you want to do your full board? Um, I'll do the full board. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. By the power by the power vested in me by BYO Inc., I hereby install you, Olive Joshua Ryan Schreiber, as regional uh, Sagan and charge you with all the duties pertaining to the high and honorable office. By the power, by the power vested in me in, by BYO, I hereby install you, Olive Michael, what's your middle name? Michael Sovereinsky. As, <laughs> as regional moray and charge you with all the duties pertaining to the high and honorable office. By the power invested in me by BYO Inc., I hereby install you, Aleph Andrew Eli Cohen, as the regional Aleph Shaliach and charge you with all the duties pertaining to this high and honorable office. By the power invested in me by BYO Inc., uh, I hereby install you, Aleph Brett Reed Katzen, as regional Aleph Gisbor, and charge you with all the duties pertaining to this high and honorable office. Okay. As by the power invested in me by BYO, I hereby install you, Aleph Dylan. Never mind. Okay. Aleph Dylan Chapman as regional Olive Mazkir and charge you with all the duties pertaining to this to the high and honorable position. Cool. Oh, uh, I actually got to get installed as Kohen by Ben. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, sorry oh. about that. By the power vested in me, by BYO, I hereby dis I hereby install you, Alf Seth Aaron Katzman, as 
uh, of Kohen Gadol and charge you with all the duties pertaining to this high and honorable office. Okay. Um, with the power vested in me and BBYO, I hereby install you, Samantha Ellie Green, as the high and honorable position of regional sick and eat and charge you with all duties pertaining to the high and honorable office. With the power invested in me and BBYO, I hereby install you, Emily Sam Nussbaum, as regional Aim Chachave wrote, and charge you with all duties pertaining to this high and honorable office. By the power invested in me and by BBYO, I hereby install you, Lindsay Blair Randall, as the high and honorable position of regional Shlicha and charge you with all duties pertaining to this office. By the power invested in me and BBYO, I hereby install you, Hannah Brooks Schreiber, as the high and honorable position of regional Gizbari and charge you with all duties pertaining to this office. By the power invested in me and BBYO, I hereby install you, Rachel Carly Chosid, as regional Maskira and charge you with all duties pertaining to this high and honorable office. By the power vested in me and BBYO, I hereby install you, Jordan Michelle Lash, as, as Madracha and charge you with all duties pertaining to this high and honorable office. We would now like to invite your new regional presidents, Ben Cohen and Esti Moss, to recognize the outgoing convention coordinators. One of the most exciting parts of being a BBYO member is having the opportunity to attend regional conventions. Our convention coordinators for RC, YLC, and SC make a huge impact on our members and design unforgettable experiences for hundreds of Jewish teens. We'd like to congratulate our outgoing convention coordinators from the 2019-2020 programming year. Mitch Blackman and Lexi Kagan are RC 2019 coordinators. Michael Sovrinsky and Shana Foreman are YLC 2020 coordinators. And Benji Stern and Sarah Goldman are 2020 spring convention coordinators. We would also like to ask the outgoing care coordinators to light the imaginary flame of the incoming coordinators to symbolize passing down. Jordan, do you have the script? Are you frozen? I think so. Did I just go away? Yeah, you froze. Okay, do you want me to repeat it? Yes, please. <laughs> okay. Um, we would like to ask the outgoing coordinators to light the imaginary flame of the incoming coordinators to symbolize passing down the passion, motivation, and spark that it takes to be a convention coordinator. We'd like to congratulate the new coordinators for this upcoming program year. Our regional convention coordinators, Izzy Fox and Aaron Sugarman, our YLC coordinators, Nicole Bimbat and Ethan Ingber, and our spring convention coordinators, Kira Sorokin and Ryan Goodman. At this time, I'd like to call on the 96 Madrafa Jordan to lead us in closing ceremonies. And SD, the incoming this year. <laughs> Before we do that, we need to install our new regional president. <laughs> yeah, you are right, Rachel. Um, okay. By the power vested in me, I hereby install you, Esty Grace Moss, as the high and honorable position of regional Nasia, and charge you with all the duties pertaining to this high and honorable off position of office. By the power invested in me in BBYO, I, Olive Steph, Aaron Katzman, hereby install you, Olive Ben Cohen, as Michigan's 96 regional Olive Cadol. Great. Congrats, everyone. Um, we are so glad you could all join us tonight. So now, without further ado, we will continue with closing ceremonies. So please rise. <laughs> 
Now that our business has ended, it is our hope that we have carried on our deliberations in a manner benefiting the great organization of which we are a part. Let us now leave with free and joyous hearts and with minds that are full, filled with the thought of deeds that are pure and noble. Where the, will the show merit have read? Sh please now read the closing prayer. Does anyone have a prayer? Or I mean, a quote? Or song leader lyrics or anything? Um, if it's meant to be, it will be. Thank you, Isabel. Love it. Um, I now declare this meeting officially adjourned. Let us now join hands in a friendship circle and sing our international BBG song. I pledge to the OBBG. I love my youth, my life. We sing to thee with joyous sound. Our voices we discuss. From, from Zion, Zion and the white and blue, to give these colors bold and true, our loyal daughters gather round. to raise our flag. I pledge to thee, O B B G, my love, my youth, my loyalty. I sing to thee with joyous sounds. My voices reach the sky. Put it up from Zion, came, came the white, white and blue, to give these colors bold and true, our loyal, our loyal daughters gather round to raise our flag up high. we're good. We're standing tall for all the We're here to stay with we'll the way for all the Jewish But hey, we're girls. We're standing here in the We're girls. We're fun. For love and left the friends that last time together, they just accepted the same. With all our might. But hey, we're girls. Our future's so bright. So. But hey, we're girls. We're standing here as one. Thank you guys so much for coming. Sorry about technical difficulties. Everybody, have a great night. Congrats, everyone. Thanks for coming. Woo. Hey, everyone.